Hello, 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 everybody. Happy TVU Thursday. Welcome to another episode of The Black Umbrella. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? We're your hosts. I'm Frenchie. I'm Nika. And I'm Wes. Yes. And we're here. Uh, it's July. Can we say we're queer? Is it off bounds? We can say it. Is yes. it out of bounds? No. It's completely <laughs> unbounded. It's okay to be queer. At this point, say it as much as you possibly can, honey, because with the way the- Okay, because they're coming they're for us. They're coming for us, honey. <laughs> so say it loud and proud as much as you possibly can while you mm-hmm. can. Because it's, be, it's about to become hate speech in a second. They're okay. going to they deem it hate speech in a second. In, in two seconds. A half a second. Ooh. You already know we're so close to election. Y'all, please Fuck. be informed. Get out there. Yes. Vote and make the right decision. And I'm not telling you who to vote for, but God damn it, you know who to vote for. Mm. We all watched the debate, right? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. <sighs> the fact that everybody's like all the talking heads they kept using the same word to describe the debate and that word was painful Uh. they kept saying oh it was painful to watch that oh this was so painful it was painful it was Mm -hmm. it hurt to watch that shit it It hurt because it was like oh my god these are two people up here who are just so unfit for the job one of them is at least which that's gonna be his advantage is within his sound mind Mm. crazy as he might Mm. be Mm. it's working it's turning Mm -hmm. he's good up there yeah the wheels are turning the wheels able to complete sentences and not Mm -hmm. um and then you got the other one who god (laughs) unfortunately they've said that's all you get To be honest, I'm fine with it. He can't tell up from down, fine left from it. right. Fine with it. Fine with it. We'll make do. Sentences I'll rather make do fish. with that for the next four years and deal oh, with yeah. some bullshit. That project bull 2025. Honky. Yeah, that, pro- that project 2025 bullshit. They about to get everybody oh, got because had me tell up in this bitch. Have y'all seen the way the Supreme Court is moving, baby? Oh, they're yeah. striking, oh, yeah. Yeah. moving. They are moving mountains. Yeah. They're doing everything yeah. they can before the this election. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is this is this is Trump's Supreme Court. He built mm-hmm. it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's he been put three of those since, justices in there. Yeah, since mm-hmm. 2016, been in motion. And we mm-hmm. have more seats up. And play be, you exactly. don't want him to get up in this motherfucker, and he will fill them quickly. Yes, mm-hmm. with people who are well under the age of forty. Slash forty no that are forty plus. Oh yeah. Young sure. ones, young ones that are gonna be in that seat for a long time. Yep. Yeah. I'm just saying. Mm. Vote and vote right, damn it. Yeah. Cause ugh. Most importantly. Go don't home. be like get, I'm, get I'm protesting. Just vote. go vote. Just go fucking vote. Don't yes. protest the election. Please. Go vote, please. Mm-hmm. You it's important. You know, it's not only about the next four years, it's about the next eight, twelve, twenty, right. fifty. You have a dream you want to accomplish, you have a kid, you have a family you want to build, you better make sure that family has a great foundation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right now there's only one way to go. So hmm. Yep. Is what it is. Mm. Anyway. <sighs> Word of the day. We can do it. And yes, she is a bitch. B I C T H. And in that order. Hmm. The word of the day is recluse. Oh, recluse. Okay. Okay. Recluse. Marked by withdrawal from society. A person that lives in solitary. So my question is, if you were a recluse, what would your vibe have to be at your house? Because you know, <sighs> yeah. you're going to be home. I know mine. <laughs> I know mine. It would be very like mid-century modern kind of feel. So like pretty like metal colors mixed in with like woods here and there but Mm -hmm. overall it would have to be really comfortable like soft blankets really plush couches like that's that's yeah that's it mine is very much like spanish architecture like a lot of arches um a lot Ooh. of sandy whites and like you know just something that's like oh like but mm-hmm. warm at the same time like a lot of browns those um the tiles what are those tiles called uh mosaic mosaic tiles like mm. that makes me feel mm, nice like and warm that. um so i like that that would have to be my vibe um at least just for like the design of my house but um also movie theater movie theater oh, beautiful yeah. movie theater seats like just 
utmost mm-hmm. utter Taurus comfort esque. Anything you can think of that make you comfortable, I need. I like that. To be a recluse. I would need a rainforest room. Oh. oh. Plant, like, there can be plants, real or fake. I'll probably do fake just because of the bug situation. Mm, girl. Yeah. Because, baby. Cause I plant. got one plant, and I'm fighting to the <laughs> nail with these bugs. When I tell you, they got me down to one stem on my fucking plant. Oh, they, oh, they, are, no. they are winning the battle. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to sleep next to real plants. Is all I can think of is what's living up in you. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Been to, I used. To, I have a. I um. My friend Devante used to be like a. He's a plant. He mm-hmm. has a green thumb of like the mm-hmm. world. Like he knows how to make anything grow back. Place full of plants. Not once did I have ever ever have anxiety. And I was like, maybe I should go get a plant. And he was like, you just gotta be ready for the bugs. And I was like. Mm. <laughs> that's yeah. it because like, he saw these little webs growing on this plant I said I would die I would throw the plant, plant away hmm. the moment I saw the webs I said can't be living up in this place I'm crying <laughs> yeah no I couldn't do it okay that's cool that's cute would you have like rainforest sounds too yeah it'll be rainforest sounds and like I would have a waterfall in there like an actual waterfall mm. oh okay. like one of the ones that are on the wall mm-hmm. yeah I have one of those the nail shop one the nail shop one you're right that's right that's luxury. true luxury 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 yeah and maybe put a conversation conversation pit in there Just love a conversation pit mm-hmm. chill a sunken oh yeah, yeah sunken Please. situation you're talking mm-hmm. you're talking my language oh yeah we chilling we big chilling and gotta have a big kitchen for the chef to go cook in there okay <laughs> i was like mm, i'm not doing nothing that thing oh, no, i'm not i'm not doing it. i'm making some brownies and some cookies and that's it yes give me the pills bear pills bear because i'm not making none of that dough from scratch either Mm-mm, i'm not nara <laughs> I'm, I'm not i'm not nara okay. this episode's called i'm not nara <laughs> Please. Oh, my god, oh my god that's hilarious um let's get to for the birds yeah for the birds is the part of the show where I look at Twitter. I see what's going on. What's going down? What's popping? And then we talk about it. Um, I got it. It's real short and simple today. First thing I got. <laughs> Baby, there's a couple out in these New York City streets and they are looking for something. Oh, they yeah. are looking for something and they have placed ads all over the city to look for this thing. And you're like, what are they looking for? A dog? No. A cat? No. <laughs> missing kid granny mama daddy no they're looking for a third yeah they're they're looking for a another person to join in on their relationship to become a thruple yeah okay and they have placed around these ads all over new york city and they say black couples seek woman for thruple there's a qr code on here where uh, I guess if you scan the QR code, it puts you into like an anonymous chat room so that you guys can like, you know, catch each other's vibe, see if it'll, you know, work out kind of thing. And there's a little bit of information about them and, uh, you know, their physical attributes and everything and what they would like and the person that they're looking for. And my favorite part on here was where they're describing um, how they look and things like that and how they would like for the person that, going to enter into their uh, relationship to look like they say um like you would have a non-ugly face oh Mm, and we know how beauty is it's subjective now (laughs) because what's pretty because i done seen some people who are interested looking people be like i'm fine they are like absolutely Mm. because what else can you say we have we have such different (laughs) yeah beauty yeah yeah. Have y'all ever been so, in a situation where you see somebody and maybe they 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 they, they walk around with their ego high, like baby, I am the shit. Uh huh. And then you look and you like, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> you are the shit. Yeah, but like, not in the hell like, yet. Oh, like you some shit. Well, <sighs> I don't want you to go that far, oh, but like, sorry, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe the, they're the fart and they're not the shit. Right. Mm. So maybe you're like, okay, you're like you are definitely a fart. Mm. Um, but cool. Like, yeah, as long as you know you the shit, that's all that matter, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've come across people like that. Um, <laughs> I don't like being around them. <laughs> what you, you going to tell them? I don't tell them shit. I just be like, okay, last time I'm hanging out with you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm a ghoster. Oh, okay. if I don't, if I don't, if I hang out with you and I've decided I don't like your energy, I'm gone. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful to be in your presence. Right? Shit. Yeah, because I'll, I'll leave a bit to the dust. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so grateful. I made it. I passed the test, y'all. You did from a Taka concert to here. Here we made it. Mm-hmm. I passed the test because, honey, I could have. Not got nothing. Never would <laughs> made it. I ain't invite nothing to nothing again. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been me. It's a chop. I'd have been yeah. like, "Hey, girl, got a ticket to this?" She'd be like, mm, "Crickets." She'd be like, mm-hmm. Very much that. <laughs> and I'd have been like, "Oh, okay. I thought yeah. we had something going." Yeah. Nope. Would you, if y'all saw these posted around here in LA? Would y'all scan the QR code and get up in that chat room just to see what's going on? No. No? Mm-mm. I would be so interested. I would. I don't know. I wouldn't. I would be like, what I is this about? I just feel like there's so much shit that's going on right now in the oh, world yeah, and in true. LA to where if I scan something, I don't know if it's not coming from my job or from, like, if I just don't know what it is. Mm. Because of what you putting in my phone, like what am I? What what am I? What's on here now? I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's it's so. I feel like I have to be so interested. Technology is evolving so crazy quickly, mm-hmm. and I, there are so many corners of the tech world that I have no clue about. And I just feel like that's gonna be one thing. Was like now there's a mass, you know, hack where you know people are scanning these things, and blah, blah, and I'll be like, oh fuck. I scan that shit. Ashley Madison. Okay, Ooh. listen. Period. So I just don't have time for that. So no, mm-hmm. I wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would fall victim. <laughs> I'm scanning. I want to see what this. Go- I want to see what's <laughs> going on. I'm too nosy. I want to know. I'm too nosy. I want to know. I want to meet you. I want to. It could be like you, but before it got weird with them. Uh huh. You know. If you saw the le- if you saw the last season, you know. Oh, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, okay, and next thing I have for the birds, last thing I have for the birds is I think it's like clear that I love themed parties. Oh. Ever since I've seen them pop up all over social media and just get so much buzz, I love a themed party. So much so that last year for my birthday, mm-hmm. I had a That's a Raven party and we all came as different ravens and that was like the best <laughs> that was the best yeah, birthday it was party. A good time. Oh yeah. my god, we had such a good time. It was great. Um but there's a new themed party that I think we might have to get in on. Okay. Okay. There was one floating around social media this week, and they had an ugly shoe party. Oh. And I think we got to get in on this. People showed up, and you know, of course, what they considered an ugly shoe. Bitches came in in ballet flats. Dude. With the strap across the foot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, came in little locked in. Mm-hmm, <laughs> came in uh, lobster, lobster looking slides, uh, all different kinds of shoes. So, I, would y'all would y'all pull up to the ugly shoe party? I would absolutely. What would you wear to the ugly be, shoe I'm, party? I'm not telling you because it would be a surprise. I can't because mm. it's, it's, at this point it's at it's at, it's at a point where it's going to happen. So I'm not. I can't. Okay. Can't give away too much. Because mm. if I show up at some espadrilles. <laughs> what a white espadrille! <laughs> Y'all are gonna be sick of me. Cork oh bottom. Mm, Cork that's exactly bottom. what I was thinking. That's exactly yes. what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. We are on the same track. I would die, honey. Oh, that's oh my a god, good one. Yeah, mm. but no, I, I would, I would, I would definitely go all out. I would find an ugly shoe and make that shit rock. Got to. Mm. Wow. Just that simple. Oh yeah, we gotta throw. We gotta throw one. You can. You do it. I will. Well, tiptoeing in my heels. Tiptoeing in my heels. Tiptoeing in my heels. Shout out to T.S. Madison. Walking up these steps in my heels. Shout out to T.S. Madison. Um, and that's all I got for the birds. Real short, simple, sweet. That's all I got. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Let's get into our pay a dust and our shining moment. Our pay of dust is something that had us messed up, fucked up, upset from the week that we want to get off of our shoulders, dust off of our shoulders. 
I said that shit wrong for the last few weeks, <laughs> and it's really been bothering me that I have just been unable to say it in the order I always say in the last few weeks. And so I'm very proud that I just said it correctly. So proud of you. Go me. Go Frenchie. <laughs> Round of applause, right? Round of applause for me. You did that. Because it was, it was stressing me out. I know. Every time I was having to say it, I was like, <laughs> messed up. <laughs> <upset>. <laughs> <laughs> said it wrong, said it wrong. Um, but yeah, uh, and our shiny moment is something that gave us some joy, brought us happiness, brought a smile to our faces, and we want to shine a light on. Um, do we have anyone that wants to go first? Oh, I'll hand us to this car. Oh, I'm gonna have my yeah. car back, though, everybody. You got it back. You though. got it back. I have my car back, and a lot of money later, it is here. Mm. Um, and yeah, I'm paying that dust. Um, mm-hmm. I also decided to purchase a steering wheel cover because mine is peeling. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not a big fan. Dazzled. I mean, people know. <laughs> people know. I'm not the hugest fan of change, right? Uh huh. So I put it on the wheel. First of all, no, I've never had a steering wheel cover in my life. Me neither. Me neither. But I've been thinking I want to get I've one because never- my hands are burning on my wheel. It's summertime, <laughs> baby. I get in my car after work and I'm like, oh, God. Okay. I promise you. So y'all do this because now I got to see it. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> I have never had a steering wheel cover in my life. But baby, whenever I tell you the battle. <laughs> to get that thing on a wheel really oh, oh my no. God. y'all what? it's actually really not easy wow oh, i thought it was just like bloop, bloop. no right. it seems like it would be so simple <laughs> it's not what you think oh no and i would love to see a video oh if you my ever gosh. purchase just if you if you no, ever I gotta get one if you purchase one and i want to see a video you putting it on your wheel okay <laughs> because i was in that auto zone parking lot Mm, for for your a life. solid 10 minutes like I, I, I said, I said, did i get the wrong size or something <laughs> i was so but it said it was gonna fit so i was just mm. whoa, sweating. oh boy and then by the time i got it on i started driving i said i don't like this <laughs> <laughs> so, Damn. but you know what i'm gonna give it a week because it's changed it's something different right so uh-huh. I, maybe yeah. after a week i'll get used to it but immediately uh-huh. i was like mm. immediately no <laughs> i was upset okay um so yeah i'm paying test to just uh the the car trauma trauma and troubles that i've been going through but mm. um it is back in my possession and i'm happy so yay to me yep. Amen. uh shining moment what happened a lot <laughs> every different. day a lot every day okay i'm um, shining i have a couple shining moments shout out to amira um i got a chance to go and see her per, um do her kickball baby okay yeah amira's on a kickball league and i got my life and we nika and i <laughs> cheered down yeah in the stands and they won so winner winner chicken dinner love that um shout out to my cousin blair who turned 30 yeah. oh my gosh great birthday, birthday yes, party Liddy titty Liddy titty i already know um what else did I do? Friday. What did I do on Friday? We all. Jay Gordon. Yeah. Oh Jay my God. <laughs> I literally, my, my whole, my whole time. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Friday, um, our friend in front of the show, Jay Gordon, uh, yes. had a residency uh, and we got a chance to, we got invited and got a chance to go and see him perform and it was so good. So mm, good. It was great. Got our life, la, 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 life. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think this weekend was jam packed, but it was wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. So those are, I have multiple shiny moments. Lovely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that. Um, my pay it does is going to be that um uh, the camp vlog not tickets went on sale this week and they were like, Check out our payment plan now. I'm the Clark and the Queen. Hey. Don't get it twisted. So that's right, Queen. I love me a paying four or six or twelve. Depends, right? On what I'm getting. Now I was gung ho ready. I said payment plans, Klarna baby, boom! I got hold on, 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 hold on. What? Gung ho ready. Gung ho ready. Yeah. When you start doing that, when you start, you know I've been doing it. Oh, yeah. Could have fooled me. Okay, continue. You ain't never seen it. I ain't never heard it, seen it. No, know what it is. Some new shit. You know what? Mm. But um, yeah, I got right. So like, my Klarna purchasing power is like twelve hundred bucks. I got this. I can get me two tickets. I know for sure. Got up in that thing, and they said, "Who said that? Who said we was using? <laughs> Who 
We said we was using Klarna. Oh. No, 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 no. What we meant was, what we meant was, uh, you pay fifty percent of your shit now, and we'll take the other fifty percent in three weeks. Sound good? Three weeks. Sound Excuse good? Excuse me. Three weeks. Sound good? Not not months. months? <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking. I was I was thinking. Okay, we take half now and half like a few months down the line. No. Oh my gosh! That's, yeah, we don't have so time to prepare. I'm paying dust to that because I paid for the first half of my tickets, but then the second half of my tickets literally comes out on my my boo's birthday. Oh uh, fuck! On his birthday. That's so. I'm like, holy cannoli! I just gotta save up as much as I can on my other my other card. Yeah, that's not linked to that purchase because baby. How, how I'm gonna do something? How I'm gonna do anything? Damn, that's crazy. I'm yeah. sorry. Damn, mm-hmm. that's some new shit right there. Y'all should have let somebody yeah. know before then, right? Cause they love letting you know about these festivals the week you... of, and then they'd be like, "Well, tomorrow, mm-hmm. tomorrow," mm-hmm. and you'd be like, "Oh, because it was like, oh, payment plans, like, and it said fifty percent now, fifty percent, like, and it said July fifteenth. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, but I'm thinking I can use my Klarna, so I'm not tripping. Yeah, yeah, bitch. <laughs> wow, that's mm. nuts. So yeah, paying us that. But my shiny moment is that I did secure my tickets. I got my two VIPs. I will be there. I'm proud. I'm of very you. excited Beautiful. because y'all had me fucked up last year. I don't know what that was about. That was weird. Love is pain. Pain is weird. love. <laughs> I had me fucked up. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy that I got my tickets, and um, I had a great weekend. We got to go to the um to Jay Gordon's um show, and it was awesome. It was great. The performers and the voices were great. Um, and I just had a really great week. I spent it with my boo. Oh, it was cool. Beautiful. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Mm-hmm. Um, I was going to pay something to us, but I'm not going to. So oh. I don't have anything to pay to us because right. the weekend was just so good. Why even, like, what? Why even pay to us? What? For what? Whatever. Fuck yeah. niggas. Um, <laughs> Friday, yeah, Friday, you know, Jay Gordon, but the highlight other than Jay Gordon was the dinner. <gasps> that we did go to dinner. Oh, Friday we went to Joey. Night. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did. did. We had a nice dinner. <laughs> that was a great dinner. That was a good it dinner. Was. Great was conversation. Good. Oh. Great conversation. Great food. <laughs> the, 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 the conversation fed the me. The conversation. Okay. We we stayed for like an extra hour and a half after they we finished and paid for on. the meal. <laughs> they were turning on the lights like bitches get out. It's time to go. <laughs> we're stacking chairs. <laughs> yeah, but this was getting so good and so deep. We just couldn't stop. Couldn't yeah, stop. Good. Couldn't stop. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Saturday in the day, got to see Joanna and we watched the Celine Dion documentary at oh, Wes's we house. Did. Yeah, Our, I cried. Y'all gotta watch. I know. I cried. Y'all gotta. It watch. was so good. Oh, Celine, we love you. Mm-hmm. And then, yes, and then uh, that Jamaican night. Jamaican queen. Jamaican, yeah, the Jamaican queen. queen. <laughs> That's what I said when I was watching. I said, look at my Jamaican queen, Celine. Oh, Celine. Celine. Yes. <laughs> and then Saturday night, Blair's 30th. Happy birthday to you, Blair. And then yesterday, Amira. Yeah. Eating food at Eating good food again mm-hmm. after the kickball Come game. On, eating good with Freddie Jean. I, that's what I was, about, I was about to hit it. I was about to hit it because you hit it too. No. I sure wish y'all could get some of this. Uh-huh. <laughs> I bet you do. Yeah. Come and get a taste. Mm. Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> Hey, everybody, we wanted to take a quick break right here just to tell you to stay connected with us. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and everywhere else at TVU Podcast. You can send us an email, theblackumbrellapc at gmail.com. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple or wherever else, make sure that you follow us and leave us a review. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, give us a like, and leave a comment. And also, don't forget, we have the TBU Season 6 playlist available on Spotify and Apple. Wow, wow, that's crazy. The show's moving quick. <laughs> Babe, we're, we're barreling through. We're ready to go. We're ready well, to go. Um, shall we get into the guest of when then? Yeah. yeah. Let's do the damn thing. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the guest of when, y'all. My name is Wes. And in this segment, I discuss new music and pop culture. We will be doing both today. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so, first, I mean, to be honest, 
It's going to sound repetitive. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to sound repetitive. <laughs> but we're going to start this off again with none other than Lion Babe. Yep. Yes. Love Take Over. Yep. Let's dance. What does that mean? Dance, dance, dance. Let's, Let's dance. dance. Get over here. Let's dance. That's <laughs> That's it. There you have it. <laughs> There's not much to say besides get your ass up and dance. And I think Lion Babe is really in it, in that dance bag. I mean, we yes. know it. But now it's like. This is like song number five now. And we're just dancing. Same, same dancing. Just dancing. Boogie nights. I want to go. I can't wait to go to a party. Uh, yeah. Maybe that uh, should be the day. Going that, to a party? That we let it snow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like imagine. Oh, craziness. That would um, be the day. So, if you want to get up and dance, check out Lion Babe Love Takeover, okay? (laughs) Um, Now, next, this really took me by, not surprise, but. It was random. Uh-huh. Yes. A random, like, song. A, le- a random collab. To come yeah. out. Um, but Jeremiah, Bryson Taylor, and Chris Brown came out with a song, Wait On It. And it's exactly what it says. <laughs> Wait on it. What do we think? Whenever we first saw just the, 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 the song come out, we I didn't was, even listen to it. What did you think? I was like, what the hell? Mm. <laughs> this is random. Yeah. I thought it was, like, a fake song. For a hot second. There's a music video too, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Yep. We discovered that. Yeah. <laughs> There's a music video. I haven't seen it. Oh. But it is there is one. It exists. Did we watch it? We didn't watch that, right? Nah. <laughs> no, I think we, we just saw that it was there. <laughs> and I said, oh, they have a video. They really put work into that. A budget went into this. That's so interesting. Yeah, because child, uh, I, nobody knew. Yeah. And it also doesn't really seem like a summer single. Right. So it kind of confused me a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's definitely like one of those slow jams. Not slow, mid tempo, mid tempo. Like yeah. vibe, on catch it. a vibe. I want you to wait on it, like you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's very much of a vibey song. Which vibey songs can be summer singles, but yeah, this just this isn't. doesn't give summer mm. single. It was okay. I I first of all, Jeremiah and Bryson Tiller. Like for a second, it was hard to distinguish. Just a tap. Just a little bit. I didn't recognize Jeremiah's voice. I didn't either. The, right. I was like, is that? Who he was is? like, who is that? I, I was like, like, I think that's Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I said, is that Bryson? Like, who is that? I'm like, I know that ain't Chris Brown. Like, right. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what the hell was going on, but Jeremiah, there you go. I, Chris Brown had the best part. But. Chris Brown always has the best part. That's one thing you're <laughs> going to say. secure that. <laughs> Whenever it comes to these songs, the singer is gonna have the best part. Chris <laughs> Brown singer. has the best yeah. part every time. Yeah, every single time. You already know it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna that way and on it, but it's gonna be a cute little vibe. Like I can hear it coming on in the day party. In yeah, Bay-Bay. all right. It's the same tempo as um the Jeremiah and Lola Brooks song. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm yours for the summer. Kind of take me to me drunk. I'm choosy, baby. What's, you know what it's like? Uh, what is it? Uh, trying to get it up on you, baby. Trying to get it up with you. We talked about it, but I can't remember what the song is called. Like, yeah. I feel like I remember that part of it. Okay. It's kind of that same tempo. So if you know that song, then that's kind of sort of what it's giving. Um, that Jeremiah is in his mid tempo bag currently. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next, Tanache came out with Getting No Sleep. Now, Nika, what did you think of Getting No Sleep? I liked it. It was a good song. It was a cool video, too. I watched the video as I well. I didn't see the video, oh, but no, did, I, didn't see it I didn't see the video. Oh. What did you think, Frenchie? Uh, I thought it was okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I thought it was a little unnecessary because I'm like, Nasty is having its moment. Yeah. And so I feel like this was too similar to Nasty. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I don't think I'll be revisiting it, but not to say it's a bad song. It's just something that I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of. Because I think I wasn't a big fan of it because I'm such a fan of Nasty. That mm. I was yeah. like, are you trying to come up in here and compete with Nasty? Right. <laughs> like, I was, I'm, dare you. I'm, very prof- I'm very protective of Nasty. So <laughs> when this came out, I said, it's not nasty. And you know, you know, I mean, you know how the fans do when they be yeah. like, oh, ain't no nasty. Yeah. But it's not nasty. It's just. It's not. Nasty is too good. Yeah, it's, it's a just, cool song. It's just having too big of a moment for a song like this to follow it. Mm. Mm. 
I get trying to be on the heels of uh, this is hot now, so let me yeah. just put it out. Mm-hmm. But I think Nasty deserved to, to breathe for another month. Honestly, before keep, something keep else milking it, girl. Out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you are. You yeah, are. clearly you are. We love it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Dochi came out with Rocket. Yes, I loved that. Yes, I think Dochi keeps on surprising us. Uh-huh. Um, in the best of ways, by the yes. way, because every time she comes up with a song, I don't know how it's gonna sound. Yeah, but then Boom. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's like nothing's really nothing. Everything's cohesive without sounding the same, and that's really hard to do mm-hmm. as an artist. But this rocket, hot, hot. This is great. Wanted to she, blast off, bitch. She's singing. <laughs> yeah, mm, this is good stuff. It just takes me back to. When we first really got onto the Doty train with persuasion, like mm-hmm. persuasive. It's so persuasive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Persuasive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um Yeah. This just reminded me of like how much we loved that and why we loved that and here it is again. But mm-hmm. You know, just like reworked, we thought about re, 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 re. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What did you think, Nika? Oh, I loved it. Okay, good. I'm happy. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, it's a good one. Now let's get into some pro- rocket. <laughs> 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 now that we've gotten the singles out the way, let's get into some projects. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see what I want to go out the gate with because I don't think I want this in the specific order. Okay. So let's start off with Marsha Ambrosius, mm-hmm. Casablanca. Mm-hmm. Huh. This is some good shit. Mm. This was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's always nice, I think, when because you know you see Dr. Dre present, so like he produced the album and you know all that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, you know this producer, you know what their sound is like, is, yeah. and you're like, ooh, like, are they going to do this artist justice by, you know, doing, like, a whole album for them? It's not just one song. Like, it's, like, a whole album. Yeah. Um, And he did it flawlessly. I think they really captured, like, futuristic, but, like, that old kind of sound. Mm-hmm. This was good. I really enjoyed this, Marsha. Nika, what are your thoughts? I liked it. I don't think I liked it as much as previous projects. Mm. Mm-hmm. But I did enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Any favorites? Mm. Tunisian Nights, mm-hmm. Self Care Wrong Right, and Best I Could Find. Okay. okay. What about you? I like Tunisian Nights, Cloudy with a Chance of Real, um, and Wet, I think was the other one. Yeah. Okay, I bet. I saw Marsha perform Wet. Did you? Marsha is doing this thing where she's welcoming you, in, welcoming you into the Casablanca Lounge, and she's doing live versions. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Wet was the one that we saw, I think, the other day. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's on her YouTube channel. And I heard wet and was like, oh, <laughs> oh, this is good. Uh-huh. I really liked it. However, I will say I didn't get to this project. I wanted to so oh. bad. Oh. I know. I wanted to so bad. But it was just, I was trying to listen to all the, we had a lot of music. In the, we did. And a lot of things got cut. And by the time we got to the lights on, camera, press record, uh-uh. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> ah, I didn't get to Casablanca. But I will yeah. be getting to Casablanca. However, I wanted to get both of y'all's perspectives on it. So I liked the, the, the bit of... Right, like the like, tint of imbalance, almost yeah. like an ant, a little bit of something. Mm-hmm. So it's giving me some, giving me something exciting, exciting to look forward to. Yeah. I love Marsha Ambrosius. Yeah, um, I think she's one of those people, and we'll talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs> we will. <laughs> Who really can sing her own songs? Sing oh, she she can sing her own. <laughs> Whenever song, I tell man. you, if, 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 if there's one thing, Marsha Marsha is gonna sing her own, and not only sing, sang her own song. Yeah, and we've seen Marsha live. Yeah, Marsha gonna sing mm-hmm. her own song. Yes, she every is. time, every time. Um, and she does her music justice. <laughs> yes, in does. every way, shape, and form. Mm-hmm. And whenever late nights, early mornings came out. Oh, late nights. <laughs> 
Hey. Is that Marsha? She, where'd you come from, girl? You know. Oh. You know. You know. Uh, that was an album that changed me musically. I yeah. think that's whenever I started yes. to get into my grown bag uh, yeah. and it was in high school and yeah. I remember take I got, I got the CD I went to go get mm-hmm. the CD and I put it in the uh, the upstairs six disc changer CD yes. player yes yes and that thing swirled around and click, 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 fell down into the thing and started playing and I was like oh yeah. yeah, and I've been in love ever since. And uh, there have mm-hmm. been some Marsha products, Marsha products that I have not been the biggest fan of, but I mm-hmm. still support Marsha because I think that she's a very talented individual. Yes, absolutely. without a doubt. Yeah, um, and I'm excited to listen to Casablanca. So yeah, you gotta you gotta give us your review when you. Oh yeah, listen, I would. Um, I'm interested. Most mm-hmm. definitely. Um, let's go to Cupcake. Now, if y'all don't know who Cupcake is, come on now. Cupcake is a rapper, and Cupcake spells C U P C A K K E. Yeah. Cupcake <laughs> um, came out with Dauntless Manifesto. Uh-huh. And wasn't it a Dauntless Manifesto? Wasn't it? Wow. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't it? Uh, for those who also don't know, Cupcake is a very, 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 shall I say, uh, vulgar? Vulgar. Rapstress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all think sexy red is something? You no, don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Cupcake is a kink <laughs> freak. Okay. Every, you think you think you do you think Sukiana Please. was the first one doing? No, no. <laughs> Nobody takes Cupcake's crown. Cupcake mm-hmm. really is that girl that doesn't. I can't even. I I, I can't even call Cupcake's music freak music because it's not freak music. It's just nasty. It's just, it's just nasty. 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 Straight up, she gonna say everything mm-hmm. imaginable with her chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to hold back. Nothing to hold back. <laughs> and, Nothing to hold back. Um, did not. I did back. not. When I was listening to this, okay, first of all, first of all, I started listening to this and I was leaving from the gym today. Mm-hmm. And next to me, I had the, I had my volume up because I was listening to music on the way there. Next to me in the car was this little old man putting on his shoes, sitting on his trunk, like putting on his shoes. And I turned on oh, Cupcake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Speakers on 75. Uh-huh. That's max for my car. Okay. Backing up windows, all four windows down. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and grilling niggas two starts. Yeah. That's the first track. My niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas. He looked up. I said, <laughs> oh my God. I'm oh, embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Cupcake is really that artist when, <sighs> when she. When you get caught listening to Cupcake in public, it's mm-hmm. like, yeah. uh, I've been had. Yes. You caught me. <laughs> you got me. Red-handed. You, you, got you called me little red-handed. <laughs> little red-handed. <laughs> um, I agree. Uh, yeah. Cupcake. Yes. From the <laughs> moment that I turned this project on, Just, um, numbers 1 through 16, 44 minutes of pure nastiness. Uh-huh. Couple uh, of on, one one or two vulnerable moments. One or though. two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One or two. One or two. <laughs> Not a lot, but Not one lot. or two. <laughs> um and I mean connect four. Connect four? When that came on, <laughs> we were in the car and we were like <laughs> one, two, three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She got a bitch who want. Uh, she got a bitch who want to fuck on you, and you going. Uh, she gonna put that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she gonna put the. Ooh. Can't even get it together. No, Whatever I tell words. y'all, I don't. I mean, it, if I can go down the track list, do y'all mind if I read it off? Go ahead. Just um, grill the niggas too. A uh, connect for water balloon and only you can imagine what that is because baby whenever I was listening to water balloon, I was like I had a visual yeah. experience mm-hmm. in my head. I did too. Lift that ass up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she said all the balloons in this park are bl- mm-hmm. yeah uh, <laughs> rock paper scissor uh, Dora queef um, aura DUI double homicide little red riding good Cody nun nun yawn dementia wow <laughs> dementia wow uh, must I say backstage passes in Cruella yeah 
Oh, nasty. Some nasty shit on here. <laughs> if you want to hear some nasty yeah. shit. Yeah. Connect four goes yeah. like one hole, two hole, three holes go. Mm-hmm. Pussy ass mouth. It can get one, one more. more. Mm. I brought I don't a know friend. What one more she a nasty out. hole. Go get her throat. That's connect four. Mm. Okay. Bet. 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 Because <laughs> now, now I'm going to read an excerpt. You know, read, some, read an <laughs> excerpt. Let's all pick an excerpt yes. to read. Oh my yes. God. I'm going to read an, an excerpt from Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, yes, let's do it. <clears throat> Tell us a story. Okay. Uh, It's running through the motherfucking woods. Said my period just came down. What the fuck? <laughs> But this sounds like slam poetry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But let this let's get this understood. Tonight I'ma fuck around and turn that dick into Lil Red Riding Hood. Mm. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this pussy don't gang bang, but it accidentally turned a crypt to a blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Pussy so mean fuck around and hold a grudge. Mm. Yeah, damn. I'm sorry. That's it. That's that's just, that's a small bit of what I'm gonna give you. Beautiful, vulgar, nasty shit. Yeah, you got your little something you want to read? No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not because there aren't any, but mm. you should, I, uh, she's made a decision not to. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where do I even go? Dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Wildness. Whenever I tell y'all, come, I mean, in, can, let me just give 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 a prop to. I mean, we're already giving props to Cupcake. Kind of. I think we are, aren't we? Yes. Yes. Wait, we're doing what? <laughs> giving props to Cupcake. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it takes a special kind of, not only artist, but person to really be just, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no lie. Like, fuck the morals, fuck the this, fuck the that, fuck the politics of everything. Fuck that. <laughs> this is what I'm putting out. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is my art. Hell yeah. And just own that shit. Yes. Because Cupcake yeah. is always going to stand right Ten behind it. Turds. Because no one's doing what she's doing right now. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. And she knows it. And that's why she's doing what she did. Yeah. That's very And funny. I don't know why I kind of low key thought maybe this was going to be a, look, cause a little bit of a different project just because I didn't know. Right? <laughs> I, I knew it was coming up. Because, you know, Cupcake's been going through like a, a lot of. Th- it's been a minute since Cupcakes released a project. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, a lot of changes whenever it comes to, like, I mean, body now, all tea, everything tea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, like, what's Cupcake going to bring? Cupcake going to bring Cupcake. Literally. <laughs> cupcake going to bring Outside Cupcake. Outside may cupcake transform. Mm-hmm. Cupcake going to bring Cupcake. Cupcake still Cupcake. Know that. That's true. Mm-hmm. She said, this is me. Accept me. This is who it is. This mm-hmm. is what I am. Absolutely. And I had, I had a couple favorites. My favorites on here were Dora. <laughs> Double homicide and none, none. Uh, mine were <laughs> mine were dementia. <laughs> Connect four. Water balloon is just such an interesting song. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna say water balloon because I really, it really is a visual experience. Okay, yeah, it really is. So those are my top three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Connect four. Ooh, excuse me, mm-hmm. Dora. And none, none. Mm. Sure, you didn't like yawn. Yawn's uh, a good one. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Cupcake. Mm. Um, I mean, if y'all are in the mood for it, and don't go in with expectations. Go in just ready to be like, I cannot <laughs> wait to hear what my ears. As soon as it, two seconds in, you are already there. You're there. Don't put this on the speaker at work. No, and please. What? Whoa, whoa, no. Do we, not. Just, we just told you what we just explained. We just read a whole. Ex- Come on now. Okay. Have some common sense. Don't do that. All right. Unless you, know you work in a sex shop. Okay. All right. If you want to. If All you right. want to. If you desire. If you ever so desire. Mm-hmm. Um. Next, I want to get into Lucky Day Algorithm. Yes. Uh, also produced by D Mile. Just want to say that. <laughs> and it sounds. <gasps> and it sounds. Like it's produced by D Mile, okay? Oh, the production, the production. This quality is insane. Mm-hmm. It is in another stratosphere. This album, Lucky Day, is tapping into another part of his voice and artistry. Oh yes, agreed. The man has truly 
Of course, we like, oh, look at that. He can sing. He can sing. Bitch, singing on this one. It's mm-hmm. it's somewhere else. It's so beautiful. I got to see this live. I have to. I went to look at A's last concert. And I think my sister said she got a ticket. <gasps> and she was like, do you do you listen to Lucky Day for real? Because like, I got to. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do. I got to see this live. Yeah. Boy. Whenever I tell you, Ooh. I just couldn't even. Mm. It's not the same. As, it's an evolution. Mm. He evolves every time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My gosh. What a man. What a man. What a man. I mean, it was so hard for me to pick favorites, but I will say, if huh. there's a standout track on this album, uh-huh. and whenever I say standout track on this album, uh-huh. Paralyzed? Oh, uh, Ray? Yeah. Mm, that was something that that can... Mm-hmm. Ray and Lucky Day. Wow. Yeah. And Paralyzed. Yes. That is something that is of otherworldly beauty yeah all the track is y'all are both ridiculous singing Singing. (laughs) oh i was shed i literally shed a tear Mm. listening to paralyzed that's beautiful because it was it sounds so good y'all i promise you you know what this album gave me Mm. it was like it was like being at like an orchestra or something, mm-hmm. like sitting like Imagine. right in the middle of just like Ugh. an orchestra. That's Imagine. what this gave me, like that Luke James project. Oh, I know, oh. What, you're, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're that talking about. is yes. the that's what this album gave me. Oh my god! Uh-huh. <sighs> my favorites on here. Um, oh man, yeah, I feel like you're gonna say the one that I know. <laughs> a good one. My favorites on here. Sheesh. Blame, think different. Yes, because <laughs> you know I knew you were just gonna say it. I know. <laughs> that's uh, that's you and diamonds and teal. Diamonds and teal. We already oh. said paralyzed, so that's why I didn't name it. But diamonds and teal. Diamonds and teal, y'all. Is... And you are nasty for putting that as the last track, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that first track as that first track. What is it never never leaving you lonely that first track yeah wow you're crazy yeah you are you are but we love it yeah keep it going mm-hmm. what are your faves <laughs> soft blame think different um paralyzed think different think di- i need you to i need you to think wow. big bitch <laughs> you need to be thinking big you bitch. need to be thinking different mm. <laughs> and he's I mean, it's like from the beginning of the track. By the time you get to the end, you can't help but to think different. Okay. How he's singing to you. Hmm. Lucky hmm. day. Yeah. Clap it up. Give me my tens. Lucky day. That <laughs> was something that I can listen to and live with forever and be so happy mm-hmm. about it. I need that on vinyl. Oh, you're yes. saying what's in my mind. Yeah. So good. So good. Wow. Um, Shout out to you. You didn't mess up your relationship with D-Mile. Uh, mm. Someone did. Someone did. We don't know who yet. He hasn't but told thank us. thank God the ones that we keep seeing that are still there. Yes. Thank God y'all are. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, there's one last album to speak about. Mm. Megan Thee Stallion finally came out yeah. with Megan. Yes. Okay. How are we feeling about Megan? Initial thoughts? Okay. So my initial thought was, wow, this is the first project that I've liked as a full thing. Because I feel like my review is usually like, I like certain songs, but like as a whole project, I don't be feeling it. Mm-hmm. This Yes. Talked about him. I thought it was really good. And I like that she's not scared to incorporate shit that she just likes. And her and like her certain fans can like connect with like with the anime type type of songs. Yeah. I thought that was really cute. Um, But I thought this was good. I mean, she's rapping. She sounds good. And it reminded me a lot of like the Tina Snow Megan. Mm, okay. You know. Um, that was a good mixtape. Oh come on, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a good mixtape. Come on now. Should I get my favorites? Um, you guys tell me what you think about okay. the project as well. 
before I, we get favorites. Oh, <laughs> I enjoyed the. Pro- I think the project was really Megan, and I think it's good that it was self titled. Um, it took a while to get into it just because the um the the first song we know is his. That's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. but Rattle and Figaro. Figaro Ho was a little confusing for me. Yeah, but I got it. <laughs> I, like I got it, but there was a certain. Right. It was there was a certain. I don't know. I don't maybe I don't know what it was for me, but I don't know if I felt as as connected to this album as I have other projects, and I don't know if it's because of what mindset I'm in. But what am I in? Like I don't even know what the fuck I'm in. <laughs> what am I? In? So like that's like not the truth. But <laughs> <laughs> it could be though. It could be. I don't know. I didn't feel okay. as connected to Megan. Um, and I just went to go see the Stallion. Okay. You did. Yeah. Party my ass off. Know mm-hmm. that. Um, but I did not feel as connected to this project, and I don't know what it was, but I just... I could see that, though. There were certain pieces... I think I was really... Oh, this is going to suck and sound so like dick, but <laughs> I feel like... <sighs> it's okay. No. <laughs> no, because I just feel like... <clears throat> I just feel like there were... I think that Megan talked about her pussy a little too much. Oh. I do. Oh. I And I like when Megan talks about her pussy. Okay. But I just feel like there were certain certain things that I felt could have been written different or better or come across or been more creative with. Uh-huh. Like some, some things weren't as innuendoed as I wanted them to be. It was very in your face. That's what I'm trying to get to at. Like not, not okay. that she's talking about it too much, but like. Everything was so. You feel like it, her previous projects were more like like she had a balance a of innuendo. Like there were some songs where she was talking straight up shit, but like yeah. then like getting into the metaphorical play of certain yeah. things is what I really enjoyed. And I don't feel like there was as much of that will, on this project. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Favorites. What are your favorites? Um. Okay. So my favorites on here are. Um, I mean, this is just damn good. It is. Yes. I, when it hit, when I hit play, and it was the first song. I said I still enjoy it, like I did the first time I heard it. Shout out to you, his. It's a good one. Um, my other favorites are where them girls at? B A S. Mama Mushy, Mama Mushy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, spin, <laughs> spin. Uh, I asked Absolute. for gay. I asked for gay. A little bit, a little bit. Whenever I tell you, as soon as I heard, mm, 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 yeah, mm, 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 I was like, and you know what I loved most? Because, like I said, I feel like it was kind of we were kind of getting into like that Tina Snow version of Megan the Stallion, and I feel like Spin. I said, oh, this is Cognac Queen's sister, and mm. Cognac Queen, Cognac Queen is my favorite Megan yeah, song. I'm like, God, that song, mm, so damn good. Um, but yes, that one and uh, Downstairs DJ and Moody Girl. So crazy. What you just read is literally the list that I have. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the whole thing, except for Moody Girl. I didn't except really Moody get Girl. into Moody Girl like that. Mm-hmm. But what you just read is literally my whole list. So you, you took mine. <laughs> Boom. That's so funny. Yeah, I think mine is pretty much the same. Where are them girls at? BAS, Mamushi. Mm. Spin, Downstairs DJ. What does she want? Okane, Kasego. Monero basta. Hey, sta, 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 sta. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Mm. DJ French Tip. DJ French Tip. <laughs> DJ French Tip. <laughs> it's in the mix. Baby on downstairs, DJ. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Although I did not feel as connected, I'm still proud of Megan because this was a huge project for her. Mm-hmm. Like, this is coming straight off all of the. Bullshit, bullshit that she's dealt with in the media for the past few years now. So I'm very proud of her and congratulations, Megan. You yes. know, we love Congrats, you. Congrats, Meg. Yes. Um and Camilla Cabello. Just stop. 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 <laughs> stop. 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 And I'm not even gonna talk, I'm not gonna say the project name, none of it. If y'all like it, y'all like it. Now let me tell you why I was disappointed. I just want to say why I was disappointed. Okay. Camilla Cabello. I was disappointed because of Twitter. Because I was on Twitter and people had already listened and people were saying, oh, I I didn't expect Camila Cabello to be the project that I got into this week. But that's the one. And like, I was seeing positive reviews. Okay. 
<laughs> Boy, was I oh, fooled. You were fooled. You were bamboozled. I was bamboozled. I was. I was. All of the above, Frenchie. <laughs> uh, there was an audible moment where I scrumped. <laughs> Nika was there. Yeah. Mm. I was so frustrated. And after I scrumped, the music went off. So I said, okay, <laughs> that's God. And I looked at Nika and I said, I'm so mad it's not getting better. Good. It's not getting better. <laughs> so hopefully it gets better. And I went down to go press play. That was the oh. That was mm. the last song. That was the last, the album. last call for alcohol. And that's where my head went with that. So I just, mm. I mean, I honestly, I can tell you, I don't think I've ever told you this on the show. But <laughs> I don't recommend. Uh, so you take with that. Yeah, I don't you, think we've ever gonna do not recommend. Nope, don't yeah, recommend that. Don't one. recommend that uh, one. But if you want to be on your wild side and adventurous, do what you want to do. But I don't recommend. Go ahead and <laughs> you can leave a stream off that. Uh, yeah, and that is my new music. I love that. Now we have to get into some pop culture. Sorry, mm-hmm. there was the BT Awards. B- Muses, mu- Muses, what? Culture's sure. biggest, culture's night. biggest <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, BET Awards. Uh, black people, black people. Angela Simmons with your gun. I uh, am upset. <laughs> you know what really made me mad? Oh, First of all, the gun. What's up? What's going on? What's going down? But right? that's death. But then it was the pictures I saw where she's pointing the gun and smiling. waving. <laughs> like Katie got bands. <laughs> like Katie got bands. What's going on, Angela? And she gonna talk about she, she said, thought it was cute. She said I she thought, said, thought it was I a fashion was a... I thought it was a fashion moment. No. But do you ever get fashion moments? No. Never. So why would you think that you're giving a fashion moment. And that's not to be rude. No, but the but people say she does get fashion people don't, No, who? The people. Who? They be saying it. Who? They. <laughs> no. I be seeing it sometimes. No. <laughs> Name one. This one. And was it a moment? No. <laughs> Dead. It's just the most recent one in our mind, but I can't name for you. Oh, no, no, not I. Yeah, I don't think Angela gives fashion moments, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't need to be doing all that, (laughs) right? Anyway, the awards happen. Um, Megan Thee Stallion opened it up. Great. Point blank. Came out out of the egg. Yeah. And then uh, shut it down, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Not too long after Megan Victoria at the stage. Victoria Monet. Yeah. Killed it. Killed Killed. Outfit changes. Killed Three different outfit changes. Mm. And then ended in water. Ended in the water. And she had a headset. Sexy said, mama. Thank you. Sexy mama? Sexy mama. She oh, was yeah. doing her thing. Definitely. Yes. Um, so gotta love it. Oh mm-hmm. I, I will say a lot of the performances, brava, 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 brava. Uh-huh. Yes. They really did the thing, not only with the performance, but with the production, set production. Yeah. yeah. It was wonderful. Mm. Yes. I don't know. And I think we said that last year. We did. We said, we said whoever's doing the stuff for these awards lately, they're really kicking it up because the Grammys, the BET Awards last year were both really like different. Mm-hmm. 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 But even the production on the BET Awards stage with Dochi last year, whenever she performed, she had yes. the, like, the yep. pink pool situation. Crazy. I said, this yeah. is a budget. So whoever is over there at the yes. BET really making this shit rock. Make it rock. Congratulations. You're doing your damn thing. You're doing your job, okay? Because yeah. everybody was booked and performed. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. there was one person who didn't get a chance to. <sighs> I don't know what's going on in the universe, y'all. And I don't know what is so against <laughs> our girl. Uh-huh. But as we know, and as we talked about on this podcast, Normani came out with a new album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dopamine, baby. Good. She was supposed to perform on the BET Awards and sadly injured herself in rehearsals. I mean, in a whole, like, strap, cast, harness thingy, and, like, yep. hobbling. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, every time. Right. Every time we get somewhere, we get knocked down. We, you know. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I Just hate bad that. bad luck the girl got. She's going to have her moment. She is. And we'll be here for it, Normani. I Don't sure worry. I will. Mm-hmm. We'll be here for it. Mm-hmm. Um... It was also a big night. Oh, first, Glorilla. Yes. Amazing. Glorilla. Did one. Yeah. With the little parachute thing. Yes. yes. So cute. So, so cute. cute. <laughs> it did amazing. Props to you. I'm trying to yeah. think of the men who performed. Shibuzi. 
Shabuzi did perform. Shibuzi. Yes. Great performance. Who else? Were there any other men? It was very woman centered. Sorry. And that's true for a, a lot of pieces of the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, as shall we get to the biggest award of the night? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Usher was honored at the BET Awards. Uh huh. And uh, this was his time. He, they did an Usher tribute for him. And, um, well, I'll put it like this. <laughs> In the promo, Mm-hmm. There were men mm-hmm. singing, auditioning to be a part, like but fake, like you know, like funny, like satirical, mm-hmm. very much that kind of like we're yeah. not taking this seriously, but like it's something funny to promote this usher the, tribute that we mm-hmm. have coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I will say, whenever they began the tribute, I was very um, surprised to surprised. see Childish Gambino starting it because I said, "Whoa." That's of, of all people, yeah. you couldn't tell me yeah. that he was going to start it off. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, you couldn't tell me he was going to kick it off. Mm-hmm. I think we were all surprised, definitely, by that one. Uh, and then after him came Kiki Palmer. Yep, slid right on in there. Yeah, did her thing, danced. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then I was like, all right, cool. I wonder who else is going to come out. Who else is going to come out? Who you know who we got? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It was another woman. Yeah, they were all women. Yeah, it was all women. Um, uh, who came up to that? I have it in so order. Many? I have it in order, so I can like rem- I can read it off. Oh, okay. Because uh, I was texting it as it was yeah, coming you off. Were. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so yes, it was Childish Gambino, Kiki Palmer, Summer Walker, yeah, Summer Walker. Coco Jones, Marsha Ambrosius, Chloe, Tanache, Tiana Taylor, and Victor Monet together, um, and Lotto. Mm-hmm. And I didn't expect for the Usher tribute to be all women. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wish there was a balance of women and men only because. Uh-huh. And we hear this time and time again. People always talk about where are the men in R&B? Where are the real They're R&B there. men? Where are the men at an R&B? Like, you know, you got to be really about it. Like, where are they? Where's their presence? The girls are taking over. And to be honoring a man who has literally paved the way in yeah. R&B, I feel like it could be only fair and right to actually have men who look up. Uh-huh. And not to say the women don't look up to Usher. Right. But have people who you know, like, these are mm-hmm. my son. Yes. Like, <laughs> they looking up to me. Yeah. You know, I feel like it lacked a balance, and I did not like that very much. However... The woman did great. Uh, mm-hmm. Marsha, you do great at your music and you do great at your songs yeah. and you know you do every time. So you just keep on killing your music. All right. Mm-hmm. Don't go touch nobody else's now. <laughs> I mean, I, I know you pin. I know you pin and write and you do. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Do that. Don't go touch their music because mm-hmm. I don't know why they chose it. I could see why because of the first right. note. Of course. Marsha Ambrosius for Superstar. But mm-hmm. there was a disconnect. <laughs> there, was uh, a disconnect. there was a disconnect. There was a disconnect. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And it was just. Mm-hmm. I don't think she could get the runs out fast enough because Usher, you know, he, he's, mm-hmm. he's, he's, his agility is like crazy, and so is Marsha's. Mm-hmm. But he's very clean with it. It's not like they don't bleed over. It's very much like doom, 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 doom. Mm-hmm. Marsha, she kind of like roller coasters you in. Yeah, so she, I think she was trying to catch it, and sometimes it wasn't catching, and I was just like, all right, we done. Mm, yeah. Uh, right. Mm. Uh, but Coco Jones did phenomenal. Coco Jones, yes. Uh Great yes. voice, perfect for that song. Chloe, same thing, phenomenal. Yes. Oh, Chloe, Chloe kind of stole the night. She lit. She, she's lit. Yes. Oh. I'm excited for this next project. Yeah. Kind of scared what it's going to sound like. Honestly, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what were y'all thoughts on the tribute? Um, Tanache. Yeah, I feel like Tanache. Mm-hmm. No, we didn't need that. I, I kind of low key feel we didn't need Kiki Palmer in there either. Well, I do too. Okay, okay, good. I also feel like we didn't need Marsha, mm-hmm. and um, we did not need Lotto. I do. I feel you on everyone you just named. Yeah. The only people who I think made sense for this tribute because they actually have the vocals 
and they got the dancing. Yeah. Or at least or at least one or the other. I mean, yeah. damn, you know? <laughs> it's Coco Jones, mm-hmm. Chloe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Victoria didn't sing, but she danced, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So Victoria Monet and uh, Tiana Taylor. Yeah, those were the only ones that made sense to me. Mm-hmm. Everybody else, I'm like, why, why? Easily could have got Easily. Lucky Day. Mm-hmm. Easily could have got Luke James. Luke James, Babyface, Kenyon Dixon, Babyface, Kenyon Dixon, Duran Bernard. Duran Bernard. Bernard. Tank was in the crowd. Josh Levy. And so was, was Tyrese. The, I'm just saying. Yes, the they were front. in the crowd. Get your ass up. <laughs> Get on that stage. <laughs> when we like what? Tyrese might be crazy. <laughs> but, but he, he can, can perform. <laughs> he can sing. You know he can. Jeez. Um, so yeah, I, I, I will say that, especially because we have the responsibility of celebrating our black artists yeah because a lot of the times in mainstream media and music we don't see our black artists to get celebrated like that to begin with mm-hmm. yeah. so i can see some redemption uh soul train in a couple of years mm-hmm. uh-huh. once y'all gonna get it right mm-hmm. soul train was gonna get it right because yeah. they're gonna everybody you get it you get at the bet and at the soul train mm-hmm. yep you get the twofer deal in the <laughs> in the black community yeah, yeah. mm-hmm I just, I mean, I understand why they did it because I know they were probably were like on the mindset of like, oh, women are really like taking over R and B right now, and they're like the strong voices in R and B right now. So let's get them. But yeah, they should have got the men up in here. I don't know. They really dropped the ball with that because there are some strong voices. Hello, go listen to that Lucky Day project we just talked about. Please do mm-hmm. if you haven't already. The hell. Uh, and yeah, I feel like. Even, I think there was the concept of Usher has been serenading all these ladies in Las Vegas and, you know, have that. Right. Have yeah. So finally we're going to flip it on him and we're going to be serenading mm-hmm. Usher. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I just, Coco did. Coco did. Because mm-hmm. she was in the crowd. So. She was. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it was a show for Usher. Yeah. It was. And uh, I want him to have that moment again, maybe with a little bit more balance. Yeah. Um. I love the girls on the stage. Mm-hmm. They ain't no mm-hmm. problem. But it just was tribute choice wise. I think we should have made some more better, more clear, yeah. thought out decisions. Yeah. Uh, script wise, Taraji uh, P. Henson. Why is this like her 57th year in a row hosting? I don't know. And it's not getting Come any better. On, it's, it's not, not getting any it's better. It's getting worse. It's actually, actually getting worse and worse. More cringe. And She's I think it's not mis- her, it's not all her fault. I think that it really is. She's not a host. No. She is an actress. And Mm -hmm. she, like, for hosting, like we talked about this last year. Yes. Yes. For hosting, you have to be able to, when the prompt is off or whatever, it doesn't look awkward for you. Like, you're not, like, Mm -hmm. trying to buy time, like, and it looks real. You know, you have to be smooth with it and just yes. rock yeah. until it's time to go and it's go time and you make it happen because you're going to have people in your ear and you're going to be reading mm-hmm. and trying to talk at the same time. Like it's a lot going on. Yeah. And I feel like you have to have that, uh, that experience of, you know, knowing what's doing those situations mm-hmm. and she still my girl is know. always frazzled, Struggle. frazzled as can be mispronouncing people name. Uh, embarrassing. <laughs> Going then, up to the wrong people in the crowd for your bit. Yeah. What the hell? Also, you called Hallie Hallie and then you changed it to Haley. Haley. You said Hallie and then you said, oh, no, Haley. Haley. And I was like, <sighs> like what? You actually said it right the first time. And you could see she like chuckled and Hallie was like, hey. But I was like, that's so awkward. Say the people's names correctly. What? Yeah. It's just hell? a lot of things that I didn't agree with. We have so many people out there. I wouldn't mind seeing Drewski host the BET Awards. He would be a good host. He would be as can long as bring... he can get on his feet a little bit. And da, 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 knows how. He, I feel like he knows you how know? to fill space and time. Can we bring like the comedy back to the host for BET Awards? Like we used yes. to have actual like. I'm not saying Taraji ain't no actual actor now. Okay? Yeah. Goodness gracious! I'm just saying we had actors and like comedians yeah. hosting this monique will smith and jada pink yeah that was a hot year those yeah I think those will two and were jada back back. yeah oh my gosh like let, let, let's get the people back in there Please. there's all these young folk out here who are like 
you know they they make lists they just came came out with a list on like complex or something like that i don't know Mm -hmm. like the funniest people on the internet right now and juski was like number one and he's always number one on all these lists. Like, come mm-hmm. on, call up the man. And he was there. He was there. And he, he was also there. presented an he presented think, he presented an award or, or or introduced something. But yeah. I think he was also on stage with Taraji mm-hmm. while she was doing her bit. But he was adding things into the bit. Yeah, and making it was it like funny. And it was, he made it funny because you knew that wasn't written. Like he right. was adding his flavor to it. And like when things would happen, you wouldn't even know. Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Boy, stop, boy, stop." But I'm like. That's what we need. So, yeah. I'm just, you know, just yeah. small suggestions. Call up the people who are doing it right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Please do. We back up. The you. internet tells you. Y'all, y'all, that's how y'all give y'all awards out up there anyway. Yeah. Y'all give out y'all awards based on whatever the internet is talking about at the time. Do. So, mm-hmm. And do. Might True. as well call them up to host the show. Mm-hmm. That's why, that's the thing I hate about the BET awards is that them awards, I'd be like, this is like fully fueled by whatever conversation is happening on social media right currently now. oh yeah no because even the script was written out to yep mm-hmm. well what's the what's the black jobs you name a yep. black job like i was like what are we doing jive turkey and around on the bet awards talking about the you know yeah let's really get <laughs> let this be special it can be fun it can be funny but it also can be special special and memorable and beautiful mm-hmm. we've seen the balance of both mm-hmm. and i feel like lately it's just been it's all comedy they're trying not with it's, without a comic it's fa- exactly taraji is not a comic so like, mm-hmm. i don't know yeah um and that's all i want to talk about for my guest to win segment show oh yeah yeah that's great thank you you're welcome um I said Gust of Wind. Okay, perfect. We're going into Under Our Umbrella. And guess what? Mm. I'm Under Our Umbrella, too. Hey. Wow. <laughs> so, should we pop our umbrellas? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Um, so, I was thinking a bit. And I feel like a lot of things change as you get older, correct? Mm-hmm. And uh, I was thinking about dreams. And not just like, you know, regular old dreams. By the way, I had a crazy ass dream the other week that they both know about. That's why. <laughs> oh my God. That was, yeah. Yes, it is. Why nutty, nutty, I will nutty. not put on this microphone, but whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah. But not those kind of dreams. But whenever we were children, we had crazy, wild, big dreams. Like, oh, I want to be a princess or a prince and have a castle and have a this and that. And I want to be an astronaut and do like these cool things where like you you just had so much that you can put together in your mind as a kid and it was so Mm -hmm. limitless yeah because you know you're you kind of grow up hearing you could be whatever you want to be you could do whatever you want to do yep and then the older you get child the more you realize the the works that really go behind being what you want to be and how there's a politics and the hierarchy system and race and all these things right like (laughs) you things start to really all of your layers Mm-hmm. start to really be like all right wait so what do, is this a, was i scammed <laughs> <laughs> was i bamboozled you know yeah um but we know how to wildly dream as children without necessarily carrying it over into adulthood mm-hmm. so i wanted us as adults to explore our wildest dreams like what are some things that we feel like and it's okay mm-hmm. to say this if that we feel like this could never happen or this is I don't even know how I would get there. Like some kind of something like that. Mm. Cause although, you know, dreams can be wild there, there can be a path there. Some dreams stay dreams. Some dreams come true. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, so first I want to ask just as a preface, mm-hmm. how you ever talk to your parents or guardians Ooh, about <laughs> what their wildest dreams are? No, slash R, which is so interesting. You haven't? No. Have you? Mm-mm. I don't think so. I feel like, oh, like over time, my mom has expressed like some things, like maybe sprinkles of things here and there of things that she like wants, but not, mm. not explicitly. Yeah, I don't think I have. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. I've never asked my parents what their wildest dreams were. Yeah, but me neither. I've, I've I've asked, and this is so crazy, but this is America, so obviously capitalism. So I was, I've also <laughs> I've always asked, like, so what was like your you know dream job? Like, whenever you grew up, you wanted to be this, right? Mm-hmm. And my mom said something along the lines of like a criminal, like a detective. 
that's i think i think i know the answer i think my mom said she wanted to be a lawyer yeah but these are she all like a good one Oh, oh. <laughs> I think my mother also would have been a she great She would have been a good one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's so crazy because you ask your parents what their dream, this, that, or what their... I've always asked them what's your dream job and not what is your wildest dream. Like, mm. aside from work, you know? Mm. Like, but, yeah, we only dream in work, huh? Yeah. yeah. Never in life. Like, what? What's your? What is your wildest dream in life? What was it? And I don't think I've ever asked my parents that. So I challenge us to maybe one day just they'll slip it in there. Hey, what did you slip it in there? Like outside that. of work? Like, mm. what did you dream of as a kid? Mm. Wow, mm. that's good. I okay, like that. stop it, stop it. <laughs> so <laughs> next, um, I want to know what is something that you've always dreamt of wildly, right? Um, as an adult that you like haven't accomplished, obviously. Uh, and yes, let it get wild as wild as you want it to get. <laughs> My wildest. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Not that I don't know. I'm just trying to think like what is like top wildest thing. Um, Skydiving. Mm. Yeah. My brother has gone skydiving before. He told me how fun it was. And I'm always like, that would be probably like the most extreme shit for me to do. But like, I'm kind of really interested, but I'm I'm very scared Mm. (laughs) because a bitch ain't trying to die. Don't (laughs) let me go up there and that be the day of some malfunction. Like, I'm going to be like, see, Lord, I knew it. (laughs) I know I should handle this. But um, yeah, like I want to go skydiving. Um, I want to... Um, I want to not work. <laughs> My wildest dream, yeah, like I don't work and I just travel. Like I just want to be. I want every time like someone checks up on where I am, like I'm somewhere different. Yeah, like, I just want to travel the world. I want to be in love while I travel the world. Maybe there might be a little monk munchkin there. Who knows? Okay, a um, munchkin. But. Yeah, I would just do whatever I want. Like my that's like my dream, just to wake up and whatever it is I want to do that day. Like you can do I'm it. able to. There's no, there's nothing that's beyond your means. Nothing is beyond my means. Okay. Like if I'm like because another thing I want to do is like I want to go to Thailand and go meet the elephants and stuff. I don't want to ride them because that's mean. Mm. I just want to touch them and feed them and go on about my business. Like if I if I wake up in the morning. Or because I just said that right now and my phone's on my lap and I can just pick up my phone and do, 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 booked. Going to Thailand. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yes. that's what I need. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Nika, what about you? What would you say, like, your wildest dreams? Um, Growing up, I always loved watching the Travel Channel and, um, like, the DIY network. So it would be... Living like Anthony Bourdain, traveling to mm. all those countries. What and- a bitch. <laughs> Anthony Bourdain, what a bitch. <laughs> he was so mean. <laughs> but, but I love him. Right now, mm-hmm. I love him. Um, doing Just doing all the traveling, trying just everything, just because you can. Because you're... You're in another another yeah. world. You're in somebody else's world. Mm-hmm. Just being invited into somebody's um, space and seeing how they go and do their day to day, and then sit down for a nice meal that they made, c- killed, made, seasoned because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they like they. Yeah, I went and worked and grabbed this mm-hmm. from my farm. From my farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like like just traveling eating good um i would love to uh, um house hunters international when they would go and look at houses all over the place that i would love to go house hunting across the world out of america um i've always wanted to own a castle just because i love old antique things Mm -hmm. and old buildings i love old buildings i would still want a castle um in a victorian style home the really giant really giant one but with a wraparound porch mm. all around the house okay bad bad that's a couple of things i'd love to hear it <laughs> uh my wildest dreams 
I would love to number one be able to be paid to travel and eat wherever yes. I want to go around Amen. the world. Uh and mm-hmm. to be invited because they they respect me. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. You know, that's pretty dope. I would like that. Mm-hmm. Um also a wildest dream of mine is God willing and let the billions flow in. I'm a man of community. Okay. So naturally I love to just have my beautiful compound. Mm -hmm. Right. But then would be with my homies and my friends and we driving into Bentley or whatever it is. And we pulling up to this other big ass compound. Mm Mm-hmm. And I hand my friend a key and I said, I want yours. Ooh, yeah. And then I drive on down to the next one and say, that one's yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Fully furnished, do what you want. Yep. Amen. Literally, like, to be able to just give to the people who I love. My gosh. As easy as I can make their lives. That's making me think more because I'm like, I feel like, you need to be thinking big, bitch. Yeah, like, I'm like <laughs> to think bigger, like that would be. I've always wanted to just like buy up like hella buildings downtown mm. and Ooh. just like refurbish them and like make them nice and modern. Mm-hmm. And then I just want to um, have them be free or just like super, super, super low rent, and then like let all the homeless people live there mm-hmm. and just like clean up the streets. Like yes, um how is my family like you know like my mom i know one of her dreams is to live on the ocean like she wants to oh, live on um, an island. by the ocean and have like a little rv by you know kind of thing and like i would do that for her you know and yes yeah yeah mm. there um, you go i love this because we really are getting a chance to like limitless you know because i feel yeah. like you always start so like it's this. Aww. I think it's this. And then like as things are like, oh my gosh. Bigger. There's so much <laughs> right. that you can think of that you're like, I wish this was a thing. Also, mm-hmm. another thing I would say is to be famous. And it would be to be famous from this. Yeah. Like, hey. Wildest yeah. Dream, this podcast pops pussy Pew. so fucking hard that next, that we do our first tour and we're in fucking crypto. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. We're going, we're going overseas and we're, we're doing a show at the O2 like shits and gigs. Nice. Okay. Shits On their first we're booked, babes. Tour, babes. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I would love that. I would love to, um, mm-hmm. I'd actually love to host an award show with y'all. Oh, yes, that I would, would love be to great. Do that. I would love to do that as well. Mm-hmm. That's a really big dream of mine. Yeah. Uh, I don't really? think I could be on that stage by myself straight up. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could host the war show mm-hmm. by myself. <laughs> that would be so fun but, to be famous and do it with y'all. Yeah. Like, that would be so fire. Because, baby, you can't tell us branch, nothing. And it's going to branch off into our own things. Like, then we're just mm-hmm. going to be famous individually, famous yeah. together. Yeah. Just building ooh. an empire. Mm-hmm. A legacy. Yeah. A legacy. Um, I love those dreams. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let me. Find out where I am in my <laughs> asking. In your dreams. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to skip this one and mm-hmm. go to, yeah. Yeah. What factors have helped, um, that, what factors have held you back from accomplishing one of those dreams? Money. Money? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Money and I think also something I've been thinking about lately is like certain things just were never like displayed or shown in the house so it's kind of like oh that's not even something that pops into my head of like you know you can do this right like because like i it's like in the back of my head like oh i would like to do that but i didn't really see that so it's like it's hard for me to like bring it to the forefront and like yeah. manifest and actually do it it's kind of like oh like i know i want to do it but i don't know like there's like a barrier like yeah i don't know i never seen it so how i don't do know I, how to do i don't it. know how to do it like yeah yeah okay money <laughs> mm. i want to think deeper than money okay but money is such a big factor it's a big factor <laughs> i know mm-hmm. money is a big factor and just um I guess just hope 
having hope for those things to happen just because of constantly thinking about just the state of where we are in America yeah, and just being like so terrified and scared and not knowing. But I mean, Mm -hmm. (laughs) the fear of the unknown just takes over sometimes. But yeah, I think it's just like the hope and just like, can I really achieve Mm -hmm. such things? It just seems so unobtainable. (laughs) <laughs> what holds me back every single time is time oh time time, time holds me back baby because all i think of anytime i'm saying any of these dreams that i'm saying to y'all right now mm-hmm. yes i'm looking at people who may have them now or things like that and i'm like they're yeah. this and you're this and <laughs> it's just the time and you're just not you you might have you missed your time i'm, I'm yes. such a you missed your time person and it's terrible yeah it's terrible because you know as you as as you see people are out here still doing things doing it years later 30 is the new 20 by the way oh yeah it really is but you see a lot of people in this age group like really kind of starting to come out and pop out and be like whoa what is going on um, but time is my biggest my biggest enemy I always yeah. feel like I don't have enough of it or, or I didn't utilize the time that I had in the past yeah. to mm-hmm. be doing this thing so now I can't just pick up and start now cause yeah, I'm like it's not gonna be you know it's not gonna be cute or it won't be in this or that and I just get yeah. so in my head the anxiety of time that uh, it really does hold me back from doing things. Like, I don't yeah. just do. I don't even try. I overthink it. You know what I like that you said in that? You said, you said, like, um, it's not going to be cute, mm. right? <laughs> that was something that I was thinking about this weekend because I was like, oh, I have this. We have this nice little camera now yeah. to film this. And I was like, oh, um, like, I want to get more. I'm getting, like, more comfortable just being in front of a camera and i'm like i want to start taking pictures of myself and then um i was like oh yeah like i'm just like thinking of like the kind of pictures i could do like i'm just envisioning what i want them to look like how i want the shots to look just like you know envisioning it for myself and then i was thinking like oh my god like am i too old for that though mm-hmm. like is it like is it cute for a, oh for a 29 gosh. year old bitch to be like wearing those kinds of things or mm. like and even though like i see it of course like i see it, the um different women like on social media i see that they're older and you know they have like that thing going on that i had like envisioned in my brain but i'm like but they've been doing that for a while. Yeah. Yes. I can't you know? start now. Like, because right. Right. You know, like, I'm starting now. Like, that might not be cute. That might not be, you know, they might be like, ooh, bitch, you ain't young. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Well, I am. But, you know, like, I'm not no 21-year-old. So it's like, that might not, I don't know. I mm. thought that too. Like, may, yeah. is, will it be as cute? Like, yeah. or is it going to be given, like, bitch trying to be young? Like, mm-hmm. mm. Damn. I also have a really, really, really big dream for us. Um, and I'll end on this as well, because I do have a big dream for us. And uh, I've always, I've had it for a minute now because I see it. I see it so clearly in my head and no one's done it yet. And I don't even know if I want to stand on the microphone because no one's done it yet. You can tell us after. I don't know. Yeah, you might have to tell us after. Yeah, you, you might, might not. Yeah, yeah, I can't tell y'all because to be honest, I, I, I believe in it that much. So Amen. I'm not going to say it. Okay. But Amen. No. Can't wait to hear after. Yeah, <laughs> y'all be able to hear after. Um, And that was it. I just want to talk about our wildest dreams. Oh. That was it. Never in my wildest dreams. Never in my wildest dreams. <laughs> Can get about me. Wow, that was great. Mm. I'm gonna be thinking more about my wildest dreams i want to expand it so much more like now i feel like something opened up a little bit i'm like okay i should keep digging just like the wildest shit because we saw we saw inside out too i was gonna say what you want to say (laughs) (laughs) we saw inside out too the other weekend and Mm -hmm. one of the things that like 
anxiety, the emotion anxiety was doing was like telling the imagination department to think of like every Every bad possibility that could happen to, is her name Riley, the character? Yeah. uh Riley. Um, in like whatever she was going through at that moment. And they were literally coming up with thousands of like terrible scenari- scenarios, terrible scenarios that can happen themselves out of exactly of doing whatever it could be just like cranking the anxiety up. And then like the other, like joy, the other emotions came in and was like, but what if something good happened? And then they started thinking of like all the good things that can happen. So it's like your brain is really like your imagination really can come up with anything good mm-hmm. or bad. So might as well turn up those like good ideas, those those dreams. Turn them up. Yeah. Let us know your wild dream. Let's see your wild side. Um <laughs> make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere else at T B U Podcast. Send us an email. The black umbrella PC at gmail.com. Let us know what your wildest dream is. Let it be the biggest, baddest dream we ever did dream. Mm-hmm. We would love to read them. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. We love y'all so much. Happy TVU Thursday. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.